elections have always been the most direct expression of civil participation. Elections are the most symbolic moment of a democracy. Having free and fair elections is a basic condition for having a genuine democracy. Electoral turnouts are decreasing in many countries. In many states, there are rumors that there is fraud. Elections are all about choices, and choices are always about the future. Citizens are not trusting uh, politicians, and it's all over the Europe uh, present. Why should I go to elections? Because nothing really matters. People are really rather disenchanted, I think, with politicians, and they really think that their vote won't count, so why bother to go and vote? Forum for Democracy has grown in a few years to be a major and I believe perhaps even the largest event of the Council of Europe. The Council of Europe has gained extensive experience in the field of electoral standards and processes which can be most helpful. The majority system where it was approved was approved on the local level of self-reliance. The local level of the we should not satisfy ourselves with good ideas. We need good results. The Council of Europe should not be only a think tank. It should be a work horse for democracy in Europe. For good or ill, it is still very difficult to envisage a functioning democracy without political parties. It is the challenge of the government, the political parties, the candidates to create the rationale, to, to make the citizen feel uh, that their vote is going to have a difference in making a choice as to which way their society is going to go. Britain is uh, too much a uh, winner-takes-all system. In my country, it's, it's too little winner-takes-all. So, so we have to find some uh, leverage between these, these uh, two systems in order to have the voters to be able to decide whoever they want. Providing voters a choice uh, is a, an essential prerequisite of political mobilization. It's the politicians, I think, themselves that have to make this greater connect, make sure that they tell people more clearly what their policies are and how they hope to achieve them. We need to make the systems of representative democracy matter to people by the powers they exercise and the people who serve. The freedom of the media is one of the the most important, and I'm not alone with this, I'm sure, most important uh, factors of democracy, not only the, the, the watchdog role, but also the information role. The position of the media is pretty fragile. Um, one year a country can be in the top, according to the freedom of expression, and later it can slide down because of these violations on rights of the media. The media could be more investigative uh, and more interested in trying to get across the policies rather than just criticizing all the time. They uh, should give more voice, more voice to public, not just political figures, but public as well. They should be agenda setters, meaning that the media should help to raise the important issues for the country and looking at social needs and connecting elected representatives with the needs of the citizens. We've been discussing today uh, in the sessions for the for media to, to play a role conveying information, an educative role, encourage people to participate in the electoral process, but also to keep a check on politicians. NGOs are themselves uh, a way for citizens to express their voice in between elections, and of course at elections, and it's in between elections that is even more important. When you have an NGO that is really uh, competent at his work of uh, observing the election process, you actually build up this uh, trust uh, uh, of the citizens to this NGO, but also, uh, which is quite more important, to the overall election process. Ou la reprise de confiance des personnes, par exemple en redonnant espoir qu'elles peuvent avoir prise sur leur lendemain 
en choisissant leurs représentants. La société civile fait quelque chose que la représentation formelle ne peut pas faire parce que ça peut involver tout le monde. La société civile est grande. Il y a un nombre grand d'organisations. Donc, c'est un médium où les gens peuvent débattre et discuter. Plus, bien sûr, doit être fait pour assurer l'égalité de participation des femmes. More needs to be done to ensure that to enable foreigners to play a, a full role in politics and to ensure that young people, old people, people with disabilities are not citizens who are left out of the democratic process. I think it is important that to make the citizen feel confident that its will will be respected through a proper free and fair process of election. There must be taken further practical measures to protect the rights of women and national minorities For instance, composition of election commissions, translation of documents, voter education programs, special requirements for candidates and party lists. It is a matter of making politics important, to have people to trust in the political system, to make it interesting. Political parties hold the key. It's up to them to change from within their organizations, to get young, black, educated, not so well educated people. The key concept right now is that it is electoral processes, not electoral events. So we're trying to get this concept of the electoral cycle, so elections as a cyclical process. The Rady of the Europe is the establishment of a general understanding of all the principles that qualify the elections as such, that they are free and honest, according to democratic standards. In the real democracy, the people are sovereign and the decision belongs to the one or the other qui vote. J'espère que tous nos organes du Conseil de l'Europe, mais notamment le Congrès, l'Assemblée parlementaire, le Comité des ministres, puissent nous offrir une mise en œuvre tout aussi stimulante pour nos démocraties. I am going to introduce these conclusions as a resolution to be voted on in my national parliament. And I invite my colleague parliamentaries to do the same in their parliament. And that way, the Council of Europe, this forum, will have a real impact in political life. This is what I think we should aim at, to have a free and fair election zone in the Council of Europe membership.